Welcome to today's virtual Convocation Chapel. As we get closer to the end of the year, it becomes more and more exciting to be able to come together and worship and pray as a body of believers. The message today from Vicar Shefflin speaks directly about our connectedness as the church through the Holy Spirit's gifts to us. We will also be giving out many awards to individual students today and thank God for all the special gifts that he gives to each and every one of us. During this time when we are physically apart, let us come together virtually and spiritually as a Luhai community. We now begin our worship in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles, carried away to these dumb idols, however you were led. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed, and no one can say that Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are diversities of gifts with the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, and to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. Amen. Hello, Luhai, and welcome to the Convocation Chapel, um, another another great milestone this year uh, that is both exciting and a little bit strange, right? This is the, the chapel where we usually all get dressed up, and we have shortened sets during the day. It's a, it's a long chapel. It's still probably going to be a long chapel today, um, and, and everybody... You know, comes to the chapel and we're all excited to see who's going to win the different awards and everything um, for for academics and athletics and, and co-curriculars and all of that. Uh, and, and it probably feels a little strange, like so many things this year do, uh, that we are celebrating this huge milestone, this convocation chapel uh, online. And we're doing this uh, over the internet instead of gather together in our chapel to celebrate together. And, and I know that that feels strange, but I hope um, that you, you've noticed a theme. Uh, since we've been doing this online learning, since we've been doing online chapels, I hope you've noticed that the theme that we've been trying to pull through in pretty much every chapel is connectedness. There is an emphasis in every chapel on the connectedness that we have despite our physical distance from one another. And it is um, not just because we are all gathered here at the same time listening to the same person talk. But we are connected to one another through the Holy Spirit. And next Sunday, this coming Sunday, is... Pentecost and and Pentecost it happens uh, after Jesus right died he died on the cross and he he was crucified he died and three days later he rose from the dead and that's the big celebration we have on Easter and he hung around for a little while he hung around here on earth um, teaching his disciples and eating with them and talking with them until eventually he ascended into heaven and before he left, or, or actually as he was ascending, he promised his disciples that he would send them uh, an advocate, a helper, um, the Holy Spirit that would guide them and be with them 
uh, even as Christ is still with us, even though he is physically ascended into heaven. And a few days later, the disciples are, are hanging out together and, and this mighty rushing wind comes blowing in and, and tongues of fire appear on their heads and they start speaking in different languages, not, not nonsense, but they start proclaiming the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ's victory over sin and death. They start proclaiming it in every language, languages that they did not speak beforehand. Uh, this this miraculous moment when the Holy Spirit came rushing in, anointing them, undoing the curse of Babel, uh, where, where God kind of cursed the people to speak in different languages and be confused. Instead, now the Holy Spirit rushes in and says to the apostles and says to the whole world, you are one. The Holy Spirit in that in that beautiful miracle of Pentecost, came in, rushed in, and, and just ripped away those things that divide us. Ripped away um, the barriers of language, of culture, of tradition. Um, not that those things don't exist, but those things do not need to divide us anymore because the Holy Spirit has entered into our lives, connecting us um, in a way that we can, in a way that we can barely even understand. And when the Holy Spirit did that, and the Holy Spirit continues to, to enter into our lives even today, and as the Holy Spirit does that, the Holy Spirit um, empowered this united people of God to, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ, to spread the gospel of our Lord. And that united people of God, the Holy Spirit has empowered, we call that the church. And when you hear the word church, you might think of like, um, old buildings and choirs with robes and pipe organs and hymnals or or maybe you go to a more modern church a more contemporary church and you have a worship band or, or something like that but but the word church when it's used scripturally doesn't ever refer to a, a building or a set of traditions or a style of worship the word church refers to a people refers to the body of Christ here on earth, which is made up of all believers, you and I included. And in today's verse, in the verse that we just read, um, we are told about these spiritual gifts that the Holy Spirit empowers Christ's church with. We are told that um, there are many gifts, and yet there is still one body of Christ. That there are many, many different things. To some will be given um, the ability to prophesy, and to some the ability to speak in tongues, and to some the ability to teach, and to, to some the ability to preach. But that all of these gifts are empowered by the Holy Spirit, that very same Holy Spirit that dwells within you and dwells within me and unites us as one people in Christ. And today, we are celebrating our honors convocation and we are going to be um, hearing about some amazing spiritual gifts that people at our school have been blessed with and that they have been blessing our school and their communities and their world with gifts of academics, uh, gifts in sports, athletics, gifts in co-curricular activities, gifts in citizenship, all these different amazing gifts. And for those of you who win an award today, 
congratulations you deserve it you have worked hard and you have earned it just remember that all glory be to god it is his holy spirit that has blessed you with this gift and this gift is most effective and most most enjoyable when used in service to him and in service to your fellow people and for those of you who do not win an award today for those of you who do not hear your name read well i would invite you i would ask you to to celebrate anyway celebrate alongside those who did remembering that the same holy spirit resides in you and is continuing to manifest those gifts of the spirit within you that holy spirit which connects us and unites us even though we are physically distant that same holy spirit calls us together as the body of christ one people united in him amen we are grateful for eyes that can see and ponder for taste buds that know pleasures of eating and drinking for hands that hold and touch and feel for ears that can delight in music and the voice of a friend we are grateful for the ongoing process of becoming who we are, for the seasons within, for the great adventure of life that challenges and comforts us at the same time. We are grateful for the messengers of God, people, events, written or spoken words that came to us just at the right time and helped us grow. Grateful for God calling us to work with our gifts. Grateful that we can be of service and use our talents in a responsible and just way. We are grateful that we have the basic necessities of life, that we have the means and the ability to hear the cries of the poor and to respond with our abundance. We are grateful for the miracle of life, for the grain of our earth, for the amazing grace of our history, we are grateful that we still have time to decide the fate of the world by our choices and our actions. Grateful that we have it within our power to bring a divided world to peace. MVPs of the boys varsity basketball team are seniors Andre Curbelo and Zed Key. Coach Buck said, Andre has been the most electric and impactful player that he has coached here at Lujai. His 95 and 10 record in his varsity career speaks to his competitive fire and ability to push his team to win. Coach said he's been a joy to coach and has brought so much excitement to the Lujai community with his play. Illinois is getting the best pure point guard in the country. Andre took Lujai basketball to places it has not seen in decades, highlighted by the team's win over Sierra Canyon on ESPN and by punctuating his career on a buzzer-beating game winner. He will go down as one of the great players in Lujai history. Zed showed as much growth as any player as coach has seen from one season to the next. He worked extremely hard in the summer between his junior and senior seasons, and it paid major dividends. Zed earned first team All-State honors and was the team's leading scorer and rebounder. He played his best basketball against the best teams on their schedule and proved he is ready to make an impact at Ohio State. He finished his career at Lujai with 47-5 record, undefeated against teams from New York. Great job, gentlemen, and best of luck at the next level. Represent Lujai well. The MVP of the girls varsity basketball team is sophomore Paris Clark. Paris was an integral part of the Crusader season. She was named Newsday's All Long Island Player of the Year. She averaged 17.7 points, 4 assists, 3.5 steals, and 6.5 pass deflections per game, all against national competition. 
She led the Crusaders on a national stage and will continue to grow into a leadership role within the program. Great job, Paris. We can't wait to see where you will take this program. The MVP of the Fall Varsity Cheer Team is Amber Wright. This year's MVP had a work ethic that couldn't be matched, putting everything she had into each practice. Coach O'Leary said, not only is she one of the hardest working girls I know, she consistently brought refreshing positivity to practice that we all needed this fall season. She helped out with so many things behind the scenes to ensure practice ran as smoothly as possible. She embodies what it means to be a hardworking athlete. Thanks go out to Amber from Coach O'Leary for her tremendous work as one of her captains. This year's fall MVP is Amber Wright. The MVP of the girls' winter varsity cheer squad is Annie Berkowitz. This year's winter cheerleading MVP goes to an athlete who's been on the team longer than anyone else can say. She's one of the very few girls who's a great flyer, base, and back spot all wrapped into one, and only five feet tall. She's not only one of the most talented girls Luhai has had on this team, but she's an extremely hard worker. She spent a number of hours both in and out of practice trying to perfect her stunts, and Coach O'Leary always admired that about her. This year's winter MVP goes to Annie Berkowitz. Huge congratulations, Annie, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish next. The MVP of the boys varsity cross country team is Brian Brady. Brian finished in the top 20 in the PSAA championship and excelled throughout the entire season. Coach Coleman said, Brian has one of the best work ethics he has seen in years and he is destined for greatness. Great job, Brian. We're excited for the future. The MVP of the girls varsity cross country team is ninth grader Isabel Bajorn Vistoter. Isabel finished in the top five in the PSAA championship meet and continued to shatter personal records throughout the season. Isabel's finishing time at the PSAA championship placed her three seconds off of the school record and made her one of the fastest freshmen in school history. Great job, Isabel. This is only the beginning and we cannot wait to see all that you accomplish. The MVP of the varsity fall dance team is Chloe Jones. Chloe was not only a great dancer and choreographer, but was the definition of a leader. Her enthusiasm and personality is truly unique and uplifting. Her determination and drive shone through the entire season. Her ability to work with and teach dancers across all grade levels is something to be admired. She will be greatly missed next year, and we know she will do wonderfully at NYU. The MVP of the Winter Varsity Dance Team is Gabriella Carter. Gabby's personality can light up any room she walks into. Her coaches shared that her hardworking nature paired with her fun-loving personality made for many memorable practices throughout the year. The bond she had with her teammates displayed her innate abilities as a leader and her care for the team was apparent throughout the course of this past season. Congratulations, Gabby. We can't wait to see all that you will accomplish. The MVP of the varsity football team is freshman Jeremiah Colclaw. Jeremiah was an all-league selection as a running back and was the only freshman selected by the NYSSWA as an all-state player for Class B in New York State. He rushed for 1,065 yards, 6.3 YPC, and 246 yards receiving two touchdown receptions. On defense, he led the team with five interceptions playing both safety and corner. Jerry also has a tremendous skill set in punt and kick returns. Jerry will be a big time player at the next level and will continue to lead the Crusaders to success. Great job, Jerry. The MVP of the boys varsity soccer team is Brandon Sweeney. Back when he was a freshman, Brandon asked his coach what was his fastest way to see the field. Knowing the goalie that year was a senior, coach suggested the goal and Brandon began learning the skills to become an effective keeper. Brandon's height, intuition, and excellent athleticism allowed him to become a high-level goalie. He was a main reason Luhai was competitive in almost every game last season, keeping the opponents off the scoreboard. Even though Brandon is playing lacrosse in college, soccer could have definitely been another option. Well done, Brandon. We are so proud of you. The MVP of the girls' varsity soccer team is Katherine Paretsky. 
everyone knows Katie as a Division I lacrosse player, but when Coach Longo asked her to play soccer her freshman year, she said, sure coach, and set out to learn a new skill set. This season, Katie used her learned techniques, determination, and work ethic to become a leader on the team and an example to the underclassmen. In four years, she exhibited exceptional athletic ability on the soccer field and was essential to the success the team achieved. Congrats, Katie, on thriving out of your comfort zone. We are very proud of you. The MVP of the girls' varsity tennis team is Eileen Choi. Eileen started her first season playing doubles against older players, and she was steady right from the start. During the last few weeks of the season, she earned a single spot on the roster. Coach Barnett said by their last match, she had enough wins to secure MVP without a doubt in his mind. He also shared that he is so excited for her to be a future Crusader leader on the tennis team, and he cannot wait to see all the things she will continue to do. Great work, Eileen. The MVP of the girls' varsity volleyball team is Amanda LeBlanc. Amanda led the Crusaders to an 8-5 record this past year and also helped them win the Martin Luther Tournament during the regular season. Amanda was named to the All-League team and had a tremendous performance this past season in the PSAA. Great job, Amanda. We are proud of you and look forward to all of the things you will continue to do in a Crusader uniform. The MVP of the boys' varsity wrestling team is Mark Imbert. Mark is a six-year veteran of the team, and we've watched him develop from a nervous seventh grader to a confident senior leader. Constantly looking to support his teammates, he helped every wrestler on the team get better daily. Competing in the toughest weight class in the state, Mark overcame long odds and battled to a top-four finish at Nice Ace. He then qualified for the National Prep Championship, closing out his high school career competing against the best in the country. Mark will be sorely missed next year, but we know he has left a lasting impact on Luhai wrestling. Congratulations, Mark. It's an honor to present to you this year's Theater Backstage Award to Ashley Streithorst. Ashley, you have been such a terrific stage manager, uh, one that I certainly will never forget. Thank you for all of your organization and leadership, your guidance, and as you juggled so many of the other things that you were involved in as well. Um, I know that uh, the world needs more people backstage than they do on the stage, and you are a real gift and a real blessing because of um, all the work that you do to help others shine. So keep on shining yourself, and we wish you God's richest blessings in your life in the future. God bless. It's an honor and a privilege of mine to present this year's Theater and Drama Award to Grace Cutler. This comes as no surprise to anyone for over the past five years. Grace, you have been a formidable figure in our theater program. I want to thank you so much for your leadership, your guidance, and your incredible talent that you bring to the stage and how you inspire um, other young actors and actresses to, uh, to just continue on with their passion for theater. God bless you in all of your endeavors. It's been an honor to be your director, and I look forward to, to seeing all the things you do on and off the stage in the future. God bless. The Environmental Club Award goes to a senior who has been involved in the club throughout her entire time at Lujai. She is passionate about making a difference in the environment and is a very active member. She always brought friends and new members to the meetings and had many ideas regarding how the club could make a difference at Lujai. We will miss her next year. The Environmental Club Award goes to Joy Gu. The recipient of the Heart Award this year goes to a student who has shown exceptional leadership and compassion within our school community. As a member of Heart for the past two years, this student has epitomized what Heart stands for, helping and reaching teens. We especially appreciate all of her efforts to connect with the new students and their families. This year, the Heart Award goes to Chloe Jones. Chloe Jones. Congratulations, Congratulations, Chloe. Chloe. Hello, Luhai families. Uh, this year's Help Club Award goes to Tommy Schreckinger. Tommy Schreckinger has been such a vital person in the development of our Help Club. He has come up with many original ideas on how we can help the people around us and the environment. So this year, I'd like to give the award to Tommy Schreckinger and hopefully we can continue building the Help Club with future Luhai students and we can also develop alumni relations with this club. Uh, 
I have the pleasure of presenting this year's Chamber Music Award. I have worked with this student in my orchestra class since he was in the sixth grade. Actually, he was one of the few students who joined the middle school chamber at sixth grade. Since then, he has been an inspiration to other students all these years. As a highly trained violinist, he has participated in all county and Long Island string festivals. This year's Chamber Music Award goes to Jonathan Schlenker. This year's Jazz Ensemble Award goes to Thomas Schreckinger. He has been an incredible part of our jazz program. Uh, we thank you so much for your creativity and dedication to our jazz program, and we wish you the best. Congrats. For our yearbook award this year, we want to reward this person as much for putting up with Mr. K and I as for all of her really hard work uh, on the agenda, and it was a lot, a lot of work. We are really happy to provide this award to a four-year veteran that has always helped our books turn out to be the best they can be. The yearbook award goes to Natalia Lundy. Thanks, Natalia. This is the Mathlete of the Year Award. The Mathletes participate in the New York State Math League Contest the Nassau County Interscholastic Math League Contest, and the American Mathematics Competition, which is the qualifying exam for the U.S. Olympics in math. This student has been a member of our team for two years and participated in all three Math League contests, often scoring the highest on the team. As a result, he has the most points of all the Math Leagues for this year. I am proud to give the Math Lead of the Year Award to John Lano. This year's Music Club Award goes to Marley Cadet. Marley has been such a positive role model tackling on any challenge presented to her. I wanted to thank you so much for your hard work this year and wish you congratulations. Hey everybody, Vicar Shefflin here to present the Campus Ministry Award on behalf of the Campus Ministry team. And every year the Campus Ministry Award goes to a young man or woman uh, who contributes to our worship, our prayer, our service, our spiritual life on campus. And one of the most visible um, elements of our campus ministry are our weekly chapel services. And this year's recipient has kind of taken an invisible role uh, in this very visible worship element, these weekly chapel services. Uh, this person works in the sound booth tirelessly. I've spoken with uh, Mr. Baumgarn and Mrs. Benacasa, and they both agree that this person works so hard that it would be incredibly challenging, if not impossible, to put together our weekly chapel services uh, without his help. I am incredibly proud to know this young man. He is involved in his church um, and is has a true servant Christian heart. Uh, this year's Campus Ministry Award goes to Stephen Clare. I have the privilege to present the Robotics Award today. The winner of this award has been on the team since the beginning. Together we've won half a trophy in FLL and over a dozen other awards over the past years. We qualified for the World Championship for FTC twice, once for the best robot, and this past year for the best team on Long Island. None of this could happen without a strong leader that makes sure every member of the team is performing at their best. So this year, the award goes to our longtime captain, notebook editor, and the team's emotional compass, my friend, Daniel Nora. How are we doing out there, Lou? Hi. This year's Debate Club Award goes to a Lehigh senior who has been active in Debate Club and Model UN for years. This student has exhibited a passion for the art of debate, a profound sense of objectivity in research, and a powerful ability to frustrate the most capable opponents with her arguments, not to mention with her style and wit. This year's Debate Club Award goes to Emily Rogers. Hi, this is Mr. Heapner. I got to work with Mrs. Reba this year on student government, and I'm here to present the 
Co-Curricular Award for Student Government. This year, it goes to our president of student body, Grav Ejmira. Grav worked in student government his whole career at Luhai, and he really cares about everybody in the student body, and he carried himself that way as president. He works, he believes, he smiles, and he succeeds. And I see that happening for Grav a lot more in his future, and a chance, a lot of chances to make the world a better place. Please congratulate with me, the Student Government Award winner this year, Gaurav Ajmira. The Business Department Award goes to a senior who demonstrates an interest and passion in the business world and who has excelled in the business classes here at Luhai. The 2020 recipient far exceeds this criteria. His teachers describe him as hardworking and someone who will make a difference in the business world. He will attend Binghamton University in the fall and study business finance. The Business Department Award goes to Justin Durso. Hi, this is Mrs. Dragos and I'm here to give out the Computer Award. This year the award goes to someone who's very interested in computers. He knows a lot about computers, hopefully he learned a lot in class about computers, and we'll talk to you about computers if you'd like. I will certainly miss our computer conversations. He was a big part of the robotics team this year, and next year he will study cybersecurity in college. The Computer Award for 2020 goes to Alex Sitterer. to present the English Department Award. It goes to the senior with the highest average in the English Department. The young man who gets the award this year is someone who I have watched grow over the last couple of years as a writer, as someone who loves literature. And in fact, he shared with me yesterday that he is just finishing up reading um, The Republic and he is now about to start reading uh, Dostoevsky's Notes from the Underground. This is after the AP examination. This is at a time when he should be relaxing, enjoying life, kicking back, sitting in the sunshine. Uh, but I think he's taking a book there with him, which is just wonderful. And that really is the hallmark of this young person. So I am so pleased to be able to give the award this year to someone who is truly um, a great intellect, wonderful writing style, very to the point, and just really insightful comments and an actual love for literature. So I'm very pleased to be able to present the English Department Award to Andrew Smelko. Andrew, I will miss you. You are fabulous. Good luck in college. The recipient of the Health and Sports Medicine Award is the definition of a hard worker. From the moment I met this student, I knew she was something special and would really excel later in life in whatever she sets her mind to. I was looking forward to having her as my intern this year before all the crazy started, but within the time that I did have her, she was a great asset. She never complains and is always ready and willing to help with a smile on her face. Her dedication to Luhai will surely be missed, but Mercy College is certainly getting someone special. With that being said, it's my pleasure to award the Health and Sports Medicine Award to Amber Wright. This is the math department award. I first met this student three years ago as a 10th grader taking my pre-calculus honors class. That year he finished with a grade of 100. In his junior year, he took calculus AB and finished that year with a grade of 99 and received a five on the AP exam. This year he is taking calculus BC and will finish the year with a grade of 99 and I have no doubt he has done extremely well on the AP exam getting probably a 5. This student not only gets outstanding grades but excels in the classroom as an extraordinary asset to the rest of the class by his comments and questioning. His enthusiasm for mathematics is extraordinary. It is my great pleasure to award the Mathematics Department Award to Gaurav Ajamara.
I'm honored to be here today to present the Performing Arts Department Dance Award to a student and dancer whose love and passion for dance are just as great as her love and passion for Luhai. She has performed in numerous Christmas spectaculars and dance showcases, as well as in chapel. This year, she also served as a teaching assistant for middle school dance. I'm so happy to share that she will continue her studies in dance as a minor when she goes on to Wake Forest University this fall. This year, the Dance Department Award goes to Morgan Scott. This year's Music Department Award goes to a very special member of the music program. As a highly trained violist, she has participated in all county and Long Island festivals and also performed with various youth orchestras and youth dance camp for the arts. She served as the president of the chamber ensemble and contributed hours of piano playing in the chapel services this year. She will pursue biology and pre-med at Binghamton University, then Cornell University. She plans to continue performing on the viola in the future. We present Emily Rogers for the Music Department Award. Our theme this past school year has been light. Our school community has been working to recognize God's love and light in our world each day, and also to find times where we can share God's love and light through our words and deeds. The recipient of the Religion Department Award has done just this. He is such a wonderful example of a person who shares God's light in our world, and he does share this in the most generous yet humble ways. It's my pleasure to present the Religion Department Award to Cameron Nichols. The Science Award goes to a senior who exhibits a remarkable capacity for the sciences. Whether it is watching this young woman take a whiteboard and turn it into an enormous detailed study guide, watching her work and collaborate with her classmates, or hearing about her internship at the Long Island Aquarium, this young woman brings a positive attitude and a positive energy to all that she does. It has been our pleasure to have her as our student in the science department. We are so excited to see what her future holds. Congratulations, Angelina Sapienza. The Social Studies Award is given every year to a student who demonstrates outstanding ability at all social studies levels. As a freshman, this student did extremely well in Honors World History, which led to AP classes in World History, United States History, and Economics as a senior. Throughout the past three years, I've seen this person grow into a magnificent woman. I will truly miss her next year as she goes off to college and debates issues with classmates and other teachers who I'm sure will find her as brilliant as we all do. At this time, I am extremely proud to give the Social Studies Award to Miss Grace Henderson. This year's Visual Arts Award goes to a student who, in his own words, has always had an idea of something to draw. Teachers, you might have seen him doodling once or twice in your class. If you know him, you have probably seen the creative world he has made and the imaginative characters that inhabit it. This year's student will be attending Malloy College next year to study digital design and graphic arts. Congratulations to Robert Callahan. The winner of the French Departmental Award this year is a student who has been in my French 2, 3, 4, and presently in my AP class. This student had perfect or near perfect grades in every one of these courses. But grades do not define this student, but rather the enthusiasm, humor, wit, insight, upbeat personality, and joy this person displays during each class. This year, she won recognition in the National French Contest, achieving fifth place in the highly competitive Nassau County region. 
I will truly miss this young woman next year. It is my great pleasure to present the French Award to Miss Marley Cadet. This year, I have the pleasure to present the Spanish Award to a senior student who has shown great interest, love, and aptitude for the Spanish language. This young lady can be described as a hard worker who always comes to class with a positive attitude and a big smile on her face. Last year, she was inducted into the National War Languages Honor Society, a distinction she earned with her outstanding academic performance in class. It has been my pleasure having her as a student for the past few years, and although I will miss chatting with her in Spanish, I know that she will do great things at UConn next year. Congratulations, Natalia Lundy. Our sixth grade citizenship award goes to a young lady who has been referred to as a conscientious, compassionate member of the sixth grade class. She is not only determined to reach any goal she sets for herself, but she is a loyal friend who thinks of others first. The sixth grade citizenship award goes to Gabriela Reyes. The 7th grade citizenship award goes to a young man who is an important part of our 7th grade class. He is an active participant in our school clubs, activities, and sports. He is a good friend, conscientious student, and strives to make the most out of his Lujai experience. We are proud to award Manny Castro with the citizenship award. Our eighth grade citizenship award goes to a student that has been described as a diligent student. As a new member of our eighth grade class this year, this student has made his mark on Luhai. He is honest and caring and greets all with a bright smile each day. We are proud to give this award to Nicholas Lindbergh. This young man has had an impressive first year at Luhai. He strives for excellence in everything that he does. His friendly smile and unassuming charm can brighten anyone's day. Mrs. Essigman has described him as a teacher's dream. He is hardworking, intelligent, and curious. We are so incredibly proud to have this student at Luhai this year. With an overall average of 97.75, this year's sixth grade academic award goes to Joshua Norum. Congratulations, Joshua. This young lady has had a very impressive start at Luhai. She's an excellent student who displays a quiet confidence that is admirable. Her teachers describe her as a hard worker, active participant, and enthusiastic learner. We are so proud of her efforts and look forward to many more years of academic excellence. With an overall GPA of 99.2, this year's seventh grade academic award goes to Sierra Miles Smith. Congratulations, Sierra. Conscientious, determined, motivated, these are just a few ways to describe this individual. She holds herself to the highest standards with everything that she does. Mrs. Norelli has commented that she is hardworking and brings a positive attitude to class every day. We are so proud of this student and look forward to seeing all the wonderful things she will accomplish in her future. With an overall average of a 99.87, the eighth grade academic award goes to Madison DeMeo. Congratulations, Madison. The Middle School Athletics Award is an award that honors the most elite male and female athlete for their excellence in our middle school athletics programs. Aside from athletic ability, this award represents student athletes who possess drive, determination, and dedication that goes above and beyond the status quo. This award represents the epitome of what our athletic department and school strives to produce an elite student athlete. Our male middle school athletic recipient is Jack McGuire. Jack is an outstanding athlete who participated in both varsity soccer and varsity lacrosse. Coach O'Reilly said Jack is a great teammate and a true leader both on and off the field. He is a young man who looks out for all of his teammates. One of Coach's favorite stories was told to him by a teacher at Lujai. 
Jack friended a boy who was having trouble understanding the directions and didn't have any friends to sit with. Jack made sure to invite him to sit with him in every future interaction past that point. In regards to athletics, quote unquote, he is the Luhai future. Both coaches were passionate about Jack's athletic ability and his ability to lead. Coach O'Reilly said, Jack got minutes as a seventh grader on a talented team and he would have had meaningful minutes this year. He is Luhai lacrosse. Congratulations, Jack. Our female middle school athletic recipient is Ashley Green. Ashley is loved by all in our school community and is the epitome of a true athlete. Ashley participated in middle school soccer and has been a member of our girls varsity lacrosse team since seventh grade. In seventh grade, Ashley contributed major minutes and led the lacrosse team to one of the most successful seasons in history. Coaches described Ashley as one of those athletes who can pick up any sport and succeed at a high level. She has a great feel for the game and is a special young lady. Aside from her performance on the field, Ashley fills the Luhai hallways with smiles and great spirit. She is a huge part of our Crusader community and we are so thankful to have her. We cannot wait to see what the future holds for Ashley. Congratulations. Hi everybody, Vicar Shefflin here. And as class advisor to the class of 2023, I've had the distinct pleasure of getting to know many of the wonderful members of this freshman class and work with them uh, on, on planning homecoming and staying late to decorate banners and hallways uh, and, and just kind of work with them as they grow together as a grade. And every year the work gets a little bit more challenging, right? Every year as they, as they move up, um, as it were, towards, towards higher grades. Um, the, the work gets a little bit more intense and you really start to rely on student leaders. Um, and there are a lot of great and wonderful uh, people and leaders in this freshman class. Um, but the recipient of this year's citizenship award um, truly stands as a light in the midst of this grade. Um, his leadership is effortless. Uh, he is a friendly, personal, approachable person who works incredibly hard, um, stayed with us incredibly late to decorate our banner in our hallway, which came out great. I am I'm so privileged to know him and I'm looking forward to continuing to work with this year's Freshman Class Citizenship Award winner, Raul Estenville. The person receiving this award is very involved at Luhai. This student has a full schedule, yet always finds room for the performing arts. She is the human embodiment of positivity, is kind and always willing to help. Since sixth grade, she has been quiet and unassuming in her drive to achieve, and achieve she has. Her teachers describe her as motivated, her work as powerful, and both as exceptional. With a GPA of 101.01, .01, I am proud to present the ninth grade Academic Excellence Award to the well-deserving Scarlet Rage. The winner of this year's 10th grade Citizenship Award is always kind to everybody. In the two years I've known this student, I've noticed that he enjoys striking up conversations with all the students around him, and that within moments, the person he's speaking with is at ease and smiling. He's also proven himself to be a leader in the classroom. I remember he stepped up to lead a class discussion earlier in the year, and one of his classmates turned to me with a look of utter incredulity and said, Mr. Reba, he talks like a grown man. He's also shown selfless dedication as a member of the varsity basketball team. Over the time I've known him, the student has demonstrated all the qualities of a servant leader, which is why it's with pride and pleasure that I give this year's 10th grade citizenship award to AK Abusa. Congratulations, AK. This year's award for the highest GPA in 10th grade goes to a student known to consistently strive for excellence. She has a natural intellectual talent and is meticulous in her efforts to succeed. Her work ethic is truly motivational and inspirational. With an overall grade point average of 100.73, let's congratulate this year's 10th grade highest GPA award winner, Kristen Haney. Diligent 
hardworking, motivated, and compassionate are all words I would use to describe this student. I've had the pleasure of watching her grow from a tiny, hardworking middle schooler into a young adult. It's amazing to see how much love and time she puts into helping her class here at Lujan. Watching her delegate roles during homecoming was remarkable, and the un goal was even stronger. When she's not helping out her classmates, she can be found on the basketball court. Coach Rainey described her as a leader by example and noted that she gives 110% to her team every day, no questions asked. It's my pleasure to award the 11th grade citizenship award to Penelope Pando. This year's Academic Excellence Award for the class of 2021 goes to a young man who's described by every one of his teachers as a pleasure to have in class. Other comments include that he shows enthusiasm and that he is a positive influence on class discussions. This is all evidenced by a weighted GPA of 101.27. In addition to a focus on academics, he is involved in a number of activities and is a valued member of our choir. More importantly, he is modest, genuine, and kind. Please join me in congratulating this year's Junior Academic Excellence Award winner, Elijah Wilson. The Trinkline Award is a scholarship award that goes to an exceptional junior who excels in the sciences. John Lana was described by his teachers as brilliant, conscientious, hardworking, and a natural science student. He is an asset to the science program at Lu High, and we are so proud of him. Congratulations, John. Hello, I am here to present um, the, the Newman Scholarship Award in Literature. Uh, this is an award that goes to a junior, someone who has the highest average in English in their junior year, and someone who has a true love for literature. This year the award goes to Isabella Ho. I am very pleased to be able to present the award to her. Isabella has really grown as a writer in the course of the last year. She is someone who is always on time with her work. No matter what I ask of her, she does it. And I know that she has a full load of other classes as well. Her writing is lovely. Um, it's very insightful. It's quite poetic at times. And she really seems to demonstrate a huge love for literature. She has a real talent, and I hope that she continues to write in the future. Isabella, I am very proud of you and I know that you did beautifully on the AP. I know this has been a very challenging year for all of you, but congratulations. Very well done. See you next year. The Donald Brown Scholarship Award is given every year to a student who demonstrates a strong ability to comprehend social studies. The recipient of this year's award has been described by the teachers as one of the most determined students they have ever met. This student began ninth grade in a non-honors world history course, but worked tenaciously to demonstrate his ability to be considered for AP World in 10th grade. He got accepted and excelled. I first met this young man in my marketing class and knew he was special as he puts his heart into every assignment he completes. I am proud to give the Donald Brown Scholarship Award to Mr. Owen Tyler. We will now present the Carl Weiss Christian Service Award. Um, Carl Weiss was a uh, long time ago the groundskeeper here at Lou High, and basically his role uh, was to ensure that the grounds and people here at Lou High were truly loved for and cared for. Um, he just did a tremendous job and left his impact and a legacy on our community. And so each and every year, a member of the junior class receives this award. Um, you know, who, someone who pretty much exemplifies our core value of Christian love in, in all that they do here, um, you know, in the halls and with the community. So it is my pleasure to present this to a junior who is an active member of Lou High's drama department, um, a two-year member of HEART. Uh, in her sophomore year, she was chosen as one of Lou High's two representatives for the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Program. 
Um, her guidance counselor, Mrs. Cook, described her with a plethora of adjectives, um, confident, respectful, motivated, compassionate, graceful, intelligent, humble, and selfless were just some of the words that Mrs. Cook used to describe our winner. Um, and that she also added that she may come across as reserved or shy, but she's truly a strong leader by example. Um, it is certainly my pleasure to award uh, Junior Robin Lindsay with the Carl Weiss Christian Service Award, someone who just brings light and um, Christian love to our community each and every day. Congratulations, Robin. administrator has had the opportunity to select a piece of student work to be framed and displayed in our offices for a school year as a reminder of the impact of the visual arts and beauty on our school. Presented with a slideshow of anonymous pieces, we each were drawn to different ones and had such a difficult time selecting as there were so many incredible choices. This year, for my Principal's Choice Award, I selected a piece by junior Nia Samuel. The transition of the subject of her piece from cautious and somewhat anonymous through to the beauty of the monarch butterfly as the subject spreads her wings and shows her true colors struck me as the goal of a middle through high school experience. It is my fervent prayer that each of our students through the successes and challenges of their individual times at Lou High will be ready to grow in confidence and passion and be ready to spread their wings to add beauty and love to this world that so desperately needs it. Thank you, Nia, for capturing this in your piece. I look forward to displaying it in my office throughout the next school year. admired how the art of photography can capture an emotion or capture a particular moment in time in such an impactful way. So for the Principal's Choice Art Award, I have chosen a photograph that has um, resonated with me. And that photographer I am pleased to say is Penelope Pando. Great job, Penelope. This next award is for the Principal's Choice Award uh, for artwork. And this year I, I chose a selection with, from an artist that uh, I'm very familiar with. It goes back to her eighth grade year when she was in my history class and really added a lot of artwork then. That was uh, absolutely amazing. And I remember telling uh, her teacher, her future teacher, Mr. Baumgarten, that you're gonna get a really special and talented artist with Maria Nazarova. So that's why I'm proud to present the Principal's Choice Award for Art from Mr. Reno to Maria Nazarova. Congratulations, Maria. You're a wonderful artist and I really admire your work. Thank you. Our graduating World Language Honor Society members. For French Honor Society, Thomas Schreckinger. Spanish Honor Society, Annie Berkowitz, Grace Cutler, Chloe Jones, Natalia Lundy, Grace Maldonado, Angelina Zabienza, and Kayla Sesums. Congratulations! In the 10th grade, students can become academically eligible to be part of the National Honor Society. They are then judged on character, leadership, and service. The following is a list of seniors who have been members since their sophomore year. Gaurav Ajmera. Annie Berkowitz. Marley Cadet. Gabriella Carter. 
Ava Castronovo. Grace Cutler. John Catrone. Joangela DiLorenzo. Justin Durso. Lucas Essigman. Prabhat Gadapati. Grace Henderson. Bridget Howard. Tony Huang. Mark Imbert. Chloe Jones. Natalia Lundy. Grace Maldonado. Francesca Morabito. Cameron Nichols. Danielle Norum. Emily Rogers. Kayla Rose. Angelina Sapienza. Thomas Schreckinger. Morgan Scott. Andrew Simelka. Kayla Sessoms. Alex Sitterer. Sophia Sparacio. Ashley Stryhorst. Nicole Tollefson. Kevin Williams. Amber Wright. Vista Zhang. Winner Jai. We would like to recognize the following students for earning 15 quarters on the star honor roll. This means that these students have earned star honor roll for every quarter from ninth grade through their senior year. Arab Ajmera. Grace Cutler. Joangela DiLorenzo. Prabhat Gadapati. Chloe Jones. Natalia Lundy. Francesca Morabito. Andrew Samelka. Thomas Schreckinger. Alex Sitterer. Winner, Jai. Congratulations to all of our 15 quarter star honor roll recipients. Hi, Mr. Hebner again, presenting the Primus Award for Most Athletic Senior Boy. After speaking with Miss Rady, we really did not have a hard time picking this year's male winner, and this year it goes to Andre Curbelo. Andre played baseball for one year, he played soccer for three years, and played boys basketball for four years. He was a star point guard on our boys basketball team. The last two of those years, we were ranked in the country in the top 20. He is a very special athlete, one of the best to ever walk the halls of Lou High. And he also, like Katie, was somebody that was good to know they had Lou High on their jersey when you played a big game. He always stepped up, he has swag, he makes his teammates better. And one of the most things that I will remember about Andre is when you watch the game, He's just really fun to watch. We're going to really miss him. We wish him a lots of luck as he continues his basketball career at the University of Illinois. I am sure the state of Illinois is going to be really, really excited to have Andre as part of their team in the next four years. Please congratulate with me the Primus Award for Athletics for the senior boy, Andre Curbelo. Hi, this is Mr. Hebner. As athletic director, I get to present the Primus Award to the Most Athletic Senior Girl. This award goes to a multi-sport athlete, one instrumental in their team's success, has a high level of skill in their sport, displays leadership on their team, and often continues their athletic career at the next level. This year's award winner, Katie Paretsky, played four years of soccer and five years of lax. She is a student of the game. She never stops perfecting her craft and her skill and I will always remember Katie putting in the winning goal against Portledge in the 2019 PSAA Championship with two seconds left on the clock. It was crazy exciting. Next year, Katie is going to be attending Stony Brook University and will be on the women's lacrosse team there. Stony Brook is currently ranked number five in the country, so that certainly will be a challenge and an exciting opportunity for Katie, and we wish her all the best. This year's Primus Award for Most Athletic Senior Girl, Katie Paretsky. This 2020 Primus Student Life Award winner for 2020 is known for really quiet confidence and leadership. She's very involved in student government and on the robotics team, and she truly cares about her family, most of which are in our school as well. 
and she really cares about the community of Luhai, which is very evident in her leadership roles, as mentioned, in student government and on the robotics team as well. Daniel Norm will be attending RPI in the fall, where she's going to study engineering. But more importantly, I know that RPI is getting an excellent person, student, and citizen that's really going to add a lot to that college campus. Congratulations, Daniel Norm, on the Student Life Primus Award. Well deserved. This student has made her mark in so many ways at Luhai and truly embodies Luhai's core value of community. She worked diligently to support Luhai's mission through her internships with both admissions and advancement, has been instrumental in her work with student government this year as our secretary, and served as well this year as a part of our Puerto Rico mission team. Last year, as a junior, she worked diligently to lead a team of students to raise awareness and funds in support of the Leukemia and Lymphomas Society's Student of the Year program a competition in which her team took second place. Luhai has been truly impacted by this senior's hard work and commitment to the Luhai mission. Please join me in congratulating 2020 Primus Student Life Award honoree, Joangela DiLorenzo. This student truly embodies Luhai's core value of excellence as she strives for it on the stage, in Luhai's choral ensembles, and in the classroom. Last year, she started our Puerto Rico Showcase, a benefit to support Lou High's service efforts in Puerto Rico. And this year, she was able to travel there in person as a part of our mission team. While we have not been in school, she has combined her talents for leadership and performance in creating and sharing the quarantine concert series, which she has distributed to local nursing homes. Luhai has been truly impacted by this senior's hard work and commitment to the Luhai mission. Please join me in congratulating 2020 Primus Student Life Award honoree, Grace Cutler. A quiet leader, this student truly embodies Luhai's core value of Christian love, present in all she does in the classroom and through her participation in a wide variety of activities. A regular participant in Luhai's Servants events, including Habitat Builds and the Puerto Rico Mission Trip, she has also brought her servant heart to her participation in National Honor Society and National World Language Honor Societies. A musician, a writer, an athlete, a mathlete, Luhai has been truly impacted by this senior's hard work and commitment to the Luhai mission. Please join me in congratulating 2020 Primus Student Life Award honoree, Angelina Sapienza. This 2020 Student Life Primus Award winner goes to a person that I think represents really just the enthusiasm of Luhai, a really big and important part of the culture in our school. She was involved in cheer, she was involved in Girls Lax, but more importantly, she had a circle of friends and people that she cared and loved in our school, making it a better, warm, friendlier place to be. And she was really a big part of creating and establishing that Luhai culture. This Primus Student Life Award for the year of 2020 goes to Annie Berkowitz. Congratulations, Annie. It means a lot to be able to present this award. I know your enthusiasm and your support uh, for our football program throughout the years uh, it means a lot to the players and to me as well. But it wasn't only that. You were really supportive of a lot of different aspects of Luhai's culture and life. And for that, I say thank you and congratulations, Annie Berkowitz. Well-rounded in his interest, and laser focused on his studies. This student's hunger for learning is a true model of our core value of excellence. Be it in English class discussions, word write or mathletes competitions, or leading the robotics team through years of competition, including to a well-deserved Inspire Award and bid to Worlds this year. 
He has the ingredients of a true leader, humble spirit, hunger to learn, and a sense of what motivates others. Lou High has been truly impacted by this senior's hard work and commitment to the Lou High mission. Please join me in congratulating 2020 Primus Student of Life Award honoree, Drew Samelka. There's no way I'll be able to list, in the time allotted, all of the student activities that this student has been involved in while at Luhai. But it is very clear that he has embodied Luhai's core value of community during his time at our school. He has been involved in student government throughout the years, helping lead our school forward in developing new traditions, even spinning some tunes for our pep rallies and Battle of the Classes events. As an athlete, a musician, a mathlete, a heart member, and founder of our health club, there is no doubt that Lou High has been truly impacted by this senior's hard work and commitment to the Lou High mission. Please join me in congratulating 2020 Primus Student Life Award honoree, Tommy Schreckinger. 2020 Primus Student Life Award winner. This next winner goes to one of our international students, really embodies what it means to be an international student at Luhai in terms of really being part of our Luhai community in its entirety. Um, great young man, enthusiastic. He was the voice of Luhai for Live at Luhai in our chapels every week. A lot of friends, very helpful uh, to those around him in our admissions department in a lot of ways as well. I am proud to present the 2020 Student Life Primus Award to Gavin Sheehan. Good job, Gavin. Congratulations. This 2020 Student Life Primus Award winner goes to a Luhai student that I think can be really summarized in one word, and that one word is inclusive. He went out of his way, I think, to make people feel warm and welcomed and part of our community in Luhai. Brandon Sweeney is a great part of Luhai and a great part of Luhai's culture. And I know that uh, he'll be attending Sacred Heart next year. And not only are they getting an outstanding lacrosse player, but they're also getting an outstanding young man who's gonna bring a lot to that college campus in terms of a positive culture and a welcoming environment. So it's with great pleasure that I present the 2020 Primus Award for Student Life to Brandon Sweeney. Congratulations, Brandon. This Student Life Primus Award winner has really used his talents to serve his school. Whether it be putting together chapels, with the technology that's involved, and even more recently, doing that same job with, with much more difficult circumstances, uh, with the situation we're in now with the pandemic, this award winner has really stepped it up and has been able to organize videos and do editing and, and still continue to serve our school with his tremendous talent. So it's with great pleasure that I present this 2020 Student Life Primus Award winner to Cameron Nichols. Congratulations, Cameron. Well deserved. Academics and athletics have a lot in common. They require a tremendous amount of practice, dedication, and diligence to succeed. Athletes often get trophies and medals to reward them for their accomplishments on the field and in the gym. But earning great grades can be just as difficult as winning a state championship. That's why many schools, Luhai included, choose to honor their top graduates by awarding them the titles of valedictorian and salutatorian. The valedictorian and salutatorian of a high school class earn this title for an excellent record of academic achievement. Both must possess sharp intellect but both also need an unwavering dedication to perform at peak level throughout their high school years. To be valedictorian or salutatorian requires energy, focus, and a desire to utilize their gifts to the utmost of their abilities. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 
is easily described as highly motivated, intelligent, patient, innovative, and compassionate. All who know him would agree that Andrew Samelka is a young man of the highest integrity, someone who has the ability to pr produce impressive results in a wide variety of areas. He truly embraces learning all there is to know about a subject. In addition to his coursework, Drew has also dedicated his time to Luhai's robotics team, earning advanced scuba certificates, teaching at Luhai summer programs, the list goes on. As a young man with many talents, Drew embodies a quiet confidence and a sense of humor that makes him approachable and relatable. His ambition has propelled him to be a go-getter and he works best when the standards remain high. His enthusiasm for learning, his patience and sensitivity to those around him, and his genuine humility are inspiring. In fact, in his letter of recommendation for Drew, Mr. Kennedy wrote, I often have to let people know the extent that Drew gives of, mis of himself to our school community because he sees service to others as a calling without seeking recognition. It should go without saying that Drew is one of the most respectful students that I've ever had in my career. He understands how to treat people regardless of age or station so that they feel included and welcome to be part of whatever he is doing. Intent on maintaining his impressive record of academic excellence, Drew will be attending the Georgia Institute of Technology. Please help me to congratulate this year's salutatorian, Andrew Samelka. This year, Luhai has been blessed with co-valedictorians, two individuals who pushed one another forward in their pursuit of knowledge and excellence. Gaurav Ashmera has taken the attitude you wish for every senior. He understands his current location within the context of his life's journey. It should surprise no one that Gaurav makes the most of each opportunity that he has presented and takes nothing for granted. Additionally, he takes great pride and joy in sharing his experiences with others. As student body president, he worked hard to be both inclusive and transparent in communications with all constituents and provide opportunities for anyone to participate who wanted. He pushed for each student to have an equally positive experience at Luhai as he did. Versatile, compassionate, dedicated to others, Perseverance and simply extraordinary are just some of the words and phrases that his teachers have used to describe him. It is no wonder he is our most requested tour guide for new students. Together, Grav and I reflected on his many personal as well as academic achievements over the past four years in high school, the past seven years at Luhai, the past 13 years of formal education, and the past 18 years of all of his learning to date. Grav, you have worked hard and continuously challenged yourself to grow. I wish you well at the University of Chicago, where you are sure to flourish. It is just the next stop on your already impressive past. Congratulations on your achievement. As co-valedictorian for the class of 2020, Thomas Schreckinger certainly has put pressure on himself to succeed and perform at his best throughout high school, yet he maintains a lighthearted approach to life and learning. When asked to describe Tommy, words like respectful, outgoing, enthusiastic, empathetic, resilient, and creative are certainly commonplace. Being one of those rare students who are lucky enough to have various subjects come easily to him, Tommy does not necessarily have to work hard in order to, to succeed. But instead of allowing himself to effortlessly perform at an above average level in a variety of areas, He's chosen to push himself to very appropriate limits in order to perform at an exceptional level in all areas. In addition to a laser focus on academics, Tommy is profoundly dedicated to helping make the world a better place. He is actively involved in a number of activities. He's a DJ, he participated on the badminton team, helped create the help club, teaches children with disabilities to surf, and is, and is an especially valued member of our symphonic band. There's certainly more that I could add, but I'm limited in my time. Most importantly, however, Tommy is modest, respectful, sincere, and possesses a wonderful sense of humor. Tommy will attend Brown University in the fall and will study business, entrepreneurship, and organizations 
with plans to take music and media related classes for a career in the music entertain entertainment industry. With his rare blend of steely determination, remarkable self-discipline and terrific teamwork, I'm confident that he will be tremendous success in all of his future endeavors. Please join me in congratulating this year's co-valedictorian, Thomas Schreckinger. Hello, Luhai family. For those of you that are new to Luhai this year, we traditionally end the Convocation Chapel with the presentation of the Randy Abbey Christian Service Award. This award is named after, of course, Randy Abbey, who had fought cancer bravely while honoring our Lord and Savior until the moment he passed away. The award comes with a beautiful medallion and a $500 check, which is intended for the recipient to spend on themselves. This year's Randy Abbey Award winner goes to an individual who achieves and generates excellence in all the responsibilities in which they are given. A true servant leader, they've never asked someone to do a task without being willing to do it themselves. She has provided a voice for our students in generating the culture of our school while working closely with our student government. She's been an advocate for professional development for our teachers and has provided tremendous support and direction for our entire staff. Simply stated, she makes everyone around her better as she generates excellence by example. She has accomplished and provided all of this while our school has faced some daunting challenges. Yet, through it all, she has maintained her poise and grace. The only advice that I could possibly give her is to sleep more and to spend some more time doing something that she enjoys. And perhaps this $500 award money can help her do just that. My only regret in presenting this year's Randy Abbey Christian Service Award is that we are not live together in chapel because I believe she would hear, feel, and see how much she is truly loved admired and respected by our entire Luhai community. I am honored to present this year's Randy Abbey Christian Service Award to hands down the best principal in the country, Jessica Reba. Congratulations, Jessica, for winning this award. Well deserved. Prodeo et Scola Award is the highest award presented at Long Island Lutheran. It literally means for God and school. This award is to be given to a male and female from the senior class who have demonstrated leadership during the years they have been at Luhai and have made the most outstanding contribution to school life. The students must be considered worthy Christian citizens and be actively participating in church or church related activities. The students must have distinguished themselves as student leaders and must have made a significant impact in molding fellow students' attitudes and judgments. It gives me great pleasure to begin with our first award winner. Um, our first award winner is a young lady who has been described by her guidance counselor, Mrs. Mullen, as enthusiastic, friendly, polite, engaging, confident, intelligent, and a leader. Her intellectual abilities are undeniable, as she has taken various AP courses and carries a weighted GPA of 97.71. She balances a rigorous academic schedule with many extracurricular activities, and they include key roles in our drama and musical, student government, high school dance team, and choir. She has used her musical talents to glorify God by singing for us in chapel and for First Congregational Church in Bayshore. Outside of Luhai, our winner received the prestigious honor of Miss Long Island Teen 2020. To me, what truly stands out about this young lady is the joy that she displays consistently. There have been many days where honestly she picks me up with her smile and positive energy. This senior has made an incredible impact on the Luhai community since she arrived in ninth grade, and she will be continuing her education at New York University this fall. It gives me great pleasure to award Chloe Jones with Luhai's highest honor, the Pro Deo et Scola Award. 
congratulations, Chloe. Our second winner is a young man who has been described by his guidance counselor, Mrs. Orleman, as a uniter, someone who opens the door of opportunity to others. This senior has a way of bringing cheer and optimism to a room. He has developed his leadership skills throughout his career at Lehigh, in student government, on the soccer field, and in the classroom. He serves as the president of the student council, is a leader in heart, and is someone who is comfortable expressing himself in any audience, whether it be with his classmates, teachers, or administrators. His academic record is certainly impressive, as he's carried a weighted GPA of 101.56, and he's also earned the honor of co-valedictorian for the class of 2020. In addition to his numerous activities and endeavors here at Luhai, our second winner has shown great discipline in practicing Bharat Natya, a form of Indian classical dance since sixth grade. Although his vast list of honors is certainly impressive, it is the way that this, this young man carries himself that truly makes me proud. He treats others with kindness and respect. He cares for everyone in our community and looks for ways to make things better for all those around him. This senior certainly lives out our core value of Christian love and is a light to all those around him. He will be continuing his education at the University of Chicago this fall, and I am honored to award the Pro Deo et Scola Award to Gaurav Ajmera. Spirit of the Living God, as we conclude our Convocation 2020, help us to realize that our separation doesn't define us as a community, that we are united because of you, for you are the glue, Lord. We thank you for your unwavering, unconditional and unprecedented presence to us. Father God, I thank you and praise you for the gifts that you have bestowed on all our young people that we recognize today and those that sit in our classrooms each and every day. We thank you for our teachers, our administrators, our staff members, and our parents. Lord God, help us to realize that it is your faithfulness that will give us the resilience to go through any storm in any season. Father God, help us also to realize that Jesus is the light of the world and that we can be a reflection of that light. For Lord God, we need that light in our darkened world today. Lord God, send your blessings on all our students and all our community. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. And we all said,